thinking of redecorating your home, but worried it might get a little too costly? On today's Home and Away episode of Enoki Daily Spotlight TV, we're gonna take a look at some easy do-it-yourself projects that you can create yourself at home. Laura, tell us a little bit about Artsy Mama. Well, Daphne, I'm an artist and I wanted to create a company where I could bring my passion for the arts to other people and really show them how important being creative is in their life. So Laura, what would your advice be um, for someone who's already purchased a piece of artwork but wants to add a little bit more. So we can take a piece that we've already purchased and that we love and really pull from that. Maybe it be the colors, um, you know, taking a piece that we're going to make and adding important things from around our home even. So if you look at the pieces that we have behind us here, um, really what I did was I integrated, you know, different materials, okay? So we're using canvas and paint, but on top of that, um, we're incorporating papers and, um, you know, material, uh, feathers, um, you know, taking pages from a book, a book that you love, or a dictionary, words that you know inspire you and adding that onto your canvas and making it really personal. So Laura, for someone like me who would love to jump in and start you know her own artwork, who doesn't have a lot of time, doesn't have a lot of experience, where would I start? Like what advice would you give me? Well, um, first you need to obviously get some supplies, the, right. most important, the most important thing. You don't need to be rushing out to you know the top of the line fine art store. Right. Um, there's a lot of places around that, um, that you can pick up a simple canvas. So that right. would be your first place to start. Okay. And then we need some paint. Right. So we've got to get paint on the canvas. Um, one thing that I would also suggest is don't stop at just a paintbrush. Okay. Um, you can really create some great textures by adding paint with different fabrics. Um, a palette knife, um, anything that's going to create an interest, a different interest, rather than just a brush stroke. So as South Asians, we absolutely love our artwork. We love bright colors, but you're talking more about texture and adding interest to a piece of artwork. So what type of textures would we use on our canvases? You could definitely incorporate different uh, fiber papers, materials, working with um, some mirrors and adding this into your canvas as well. You might want to incorporate it underneath the paint a little bit, um, paint on top of the mirrors. It might be a really uh, great way to, to have it pop on your oh, wall. Oh, I agree. That's a huge South Asian uh, form of art. And to learn more about Artsy Mamas, you can like Laura's Artsy Mama page on Facebook. Remember, for more information on our show, visit us at anokimedia.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter.